There are a lot of people that don't like holidays. There are a lot of people that don't fuck with the income tax. You, you, because it is rape. You can, the income tax shit is, it's, you, they're raping you. You're getting like pennies on the dollar. I the government is taking all your money and giving you a little back. I can understand why people will be upset about that. But, why, but, back. So, so this is my this thing. This is true too, <laughs> but they're giving you, literally, they're giving you pennies on the dollar. So, but this is my thing. What the fuck? Stop playing. Right. What the why fuck? Stop playing. It's important for you to voice your opinion on other people's happiness. I why do I why do I have to tell you, well the government is giving you pee on a dollar, so although you're getting eight thousand, you should have got eighty. No, why no, no, no. Like no. I don't I don't do I don't to me that's I just just the way I look at it because I don't a lot of these niggas I do not like. I don't know personally. But had I not had that conversation, had no had had I not yeah, had I not had that conversation, had someone not put that in my head to make me go research this material, I wouldn't have known that. Okay. Now, if I see somebody say, look, fuck the income taxes, da 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 I'm not going to be like, man, this nigga's wildin'. I'm going to go in there and be like, why? If I don't know, I'm going to go in there and be like, why? And then I'm going to take what he gives me. Now, I'm going to go research this shit on my own. Gather my own thoughts and opinions. Now we can have a conversation, and then maybe someone else will look at that, and then I'm just can, not, it'll be a bigger conversation. That's how I gauge. Yeah, I don't do. I, I, I'm like, I'm not going. I'm not going to just stump on your happiness like that. Like, if you a kid with a right. sucker, I'm not going to keep taking your sucker to throw it on the ground. No, no, I used to. I used to be, be like fucking that. happy. Like, I, cause I, I don't celebrate holidays either. Yeah. But I'm like, oh, you shouldn't celebrate it because it is. If that's what makes you. Happy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For, for an example, though. For example, though. When I started diving a little deeper into the knowledge that I've attained, and I was out straight, straight like, fuck Kwanzaa. That's fuck that shit. You jumped on there and was like, why? I, I gave it. you the material. You gathered your own thoughts and opinions, and you said, well, I'm not fucking with the nigga. But I still, I still like the principles. Yeah. But had I not told you that, yeah, but it's it's a difference between saying fuck Kwanzaa and if y'all celebrate Kwanzaa, y'all dumb. There's a difference between the two. Well, I mean, yeah, it yeah, is. It's but it all it, 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 it all comes it all comes when you when you're trying to. And when, I said, when you're trying to unlearn, and when you said it, you didn't make it like fuck Kwanzaa. You you did you well, said the niggas a rat. Fuck him. Yeah, yeah, fuck him all the way. So that made me like, okay, let me figure out about yeah. him and then yeah. do more research. But it, 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 I it, I it also, I have to college. gauge it. I also gauge it, gauge people on the way and the time that they've taken to take on this knowledge. Unlearning what you've learned since your childhood right. and then you, you're teaching yourself the facts can get you angry. So you'd be like, man, why the fuck are y'all really doing this when this shit isn't what it is like if I'm a, if I'm if I'm super super pro black and there's a lot of people out there I'm super super pro black so when I found out the nigga made Kwanzaa not because of African tra tradition but was because he wanted to gain he wanted to monetize off of black people and then he set up to Black Panthers yeah he was a rat he beat women now I'm like what the fuck. Why are we Fuck that bitch ass nigga. Why are we celebrating that? You know what I'm saying? But it takes a while until you calm down and then you just you searching for whatever every whatever everybody else celebrate. I mean, you're searching for whatever what everyone else is searching. Just peace. Mm -hmm. So at that point, now I can give I can throw shit out there and I can leave it there. Cause a lot of times I'll I'll write some shit and I'll just leave it there. It's on you, it's, it's up to your in, interpretation of right. uh, whatever you take from it. But I'm confident in what the shit I'm saying, and then if it's, if somebody come on there and it's really, and it's stop provoking, that's when I'm like, okay, let's have a conversation. But you know a what lot I'm of saying? times it ain't what you say; it's how you say it. Like, yeah. yeah, it's how you post something. Cause you can post something, you know what I'm saying, that's super ignorant, that won't even give us a way in. And even if we ask it, why people will get offended? True. Very that's true. how crazy yeah. social media yeah. is. Like, you would think somebody want an answer, and then you would answer it. And they had to take it offensive. You'd be yeah. like, I don't know. That's how it is for me. Yeah. You know? No, I hear you. Like, shout out to the, shout out to the homie Steven. Like, we was having a conversation today. Shout out to the, <laughs> but shout out to the homie Steven. But he's a prime example of 
when you really don't have much to say. So what he'll do is, when you have him in the corner, he'll start, say we're we talking about hip-hop, right? Or we're talking about a certain artist and we're talking about a certain song. So if he's in a corner, then he'll start talking about what the artist did back then. Okay. Or what they started. Or this album. Or this album. Or bring up somebody else. Rock or music. And then he'll start like little digs. Like, you know, Scotty Pippen of the G League. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit like that. Which, that was bad funny. But, but it's like... That shit was funny. Yeah. But it's like, when you, when you get to that point when you have to start... When you have to start, like, taking digs at someone, that's how you, you ain't got much left. You ain't got nothing to entertain. Right. You know what I mean? But again, you have to pick and choose who you decide to have dialogue with. And on Facebook, it's so... It's so... Hard because we're we're taught to not talk about politics, money, or religion. We we're taught that, so now you have an open plat. You almost have an open plat, an open but closed platform where people are having these discussions. But they're having these discussions with people that you can almost touch elbows with every day. Yeah, bro, so it causes that. problems. Yeah. It causes problems. That's why I would rather talk to people. One that I just don't agree with. I love. Shout out to everybody that I don't agree with. That and then it, I just so I like to, everybody. Uh, <laughs> like six, like six y'all, I agree with. You. <laughs> but you know, like I said, it's just you know, shout out to the motherfuckers I can have discussions with. I can't do that on I can't do that on Facebook, and I like to talk to strangers. That's something I didn't have back in the day. You just had these re regurgitated conversations with people you you know over and over and over and over again. None of you motherfuckers is growing. Y'all just recycling conversation. Right, right. That's how I take it. But you know, like I said, shout out to everybody that has to put on a uh a, a mask, a a, a filter. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I think it gets irritating when they reciting what they seen instead of what they know. You seen somebody else say this, you feel like that's a good argument for you. Yeah. Mm. When you in that corner. Instead of you knowing what you're talking about. Yeah, that's like a lazy way out. Like if like if I'm not a big Q fan, but I hear somebody say, "Oh, he used to write all Easy music." Yeah. So now when you bring up Q, and I'm like, "He the best person," you like, "Well, what you know? He used to write all Easy music, but yeah. I don't really know that." You know what I'm saying? Like if I, it's just a lot of people who just you just recycling what you've seen. You've been on social media so long, you've seen so many other people back and oh, forth. Yeah, sure. If you in these super groups or whatever, you see the back and forth, and you like. Ooh, I can use this next time. Spin say something to me. I'm gonna use this one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And you get it ready, because you know he gonna argue that. Like, I wasn't ready for him last time, but this time when he come on my post, I'm gonna be ready. But, because some people just listen to respond though. They don't really listen to hear you. And that's most mm -hmm. of the people. You that's know? on and off social media though. Yeah, in real life, that's where it's really at in real life. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, if you have a conversation with somebody, and every time you be you shut up for one second, they throw something in. It's to the point where they're not even hearing you. They hearing their conversation over yeah. and over and over. Like, there's nothing you can say to change their mind. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's, that's the because that's the ultimate place to be right at. I'm, if I'm if we're having the back and forth yeah. in person, if 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 you get the best of me in person, only you and I know that. Yeah. But if we have this back and forth on social media, yeah. everybody know I just sunned you. Yeah. Like that's a, that's an extra feather in my cap. Yeah. Like people yeah. aren't people aren't listening. To, people want they want to be right. They don't want to get it right. Yeah, you know what I mean. True. But that's the that's where I think I've I've kind of evolved. Like I don't care about being right or wrong. That's up to you to decide. Yeah, I'm gonna have a conversation. We're gonna have a conversation. I don't give a fuck about right or wrong. Yeah, for real. But we gonna have it. If I gotta be the bad guy to have it, I'm gonna be the bad guy. It is what it is. But we're bad. having the conversation. You are gonna be the bad guy. Yeah, because all day they use like don't push the fit, don't push the post, don't push the. Oh, the goal post. post. Yeah, man, I don't give a fuck what that nigga did in 1979. <laughs> nigga, we talking about right now. He good for like don't move the goal post shit. Man. Yeah, the nigga. Don't move the goal post. What, what what you say? Stay focused. <laughs> Stay focused. This is what we're talking about. I don't give a fuck about 1995 and Kendrick Lamar and what the fuck he did. With the he was the first nigga to do. I don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> we talking about what we talking about. Cause a lot of people try to do that shit. They'll insert little shit, and then you'll see it, and then that immediately flips the conversation. Oh, absolutely. Nah, looking for a way out. We talking about this right here. They're looking for a way out. <laughs> we talking about this right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's moving. But man, that's shit. I ain't got. Man, yeah, I just yeah. shout out, man. Shout, shout out, out to the ladies who want to be light skinned. 
um, who <laughs> want to be light skinned. Shit, they all yeah, trying to that's be why dark. I think, now. That's why I think Instagram. They all like, trying to be dark. Now. That's why I think Instagram was the worst of all of them. Like, or just on a on a human level, like worst than Snapchat. He don't know about Snapchat. Don't nobody be on Snapchat though. He don't know about Snapchat. Rihanna like murdered all that them, shit. All them filters you see? He don't know about yeah, filters are still, The filters are still heavy, so they still yeah, use them. But Rihanna they may not murdered be, that. They may not be. Rihanna no. and Kim Kardashian, when she he said that, everybody know about was Snapchat. Snapchat. I, but he see the filters. I'm not saying, I'm not saying Again, people he going are not, off of what he's seen. What we just talked about. He's I'm going not, off of I'm what not, he's seen. The numbers are there. What? No, I'm on Snapchat. It's a hell of people on that motherfucker. No, but you can read. It's It's... Snapchat I'm saying what Snapchat, Snapchat was just prior as open to as Twitter. What Snapchat was prior to when Rihanna and, and Kim Kardashian said what they said, or Kourtney Kardashian, whatever the fuck, it was one of them, it was Kylie. After Kylie and Rihanna said what they said, I'm talking about the numbers, like overall. It took, it took you may feel like Snapchat is still popping because that's because. your own. I mean, that's your thing. I'm talking about on the bigger aspect. No, I'm, I'm because I'm saying it because you can get to. Everybody on Snap, like you still got the 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 Rick Rosses that and Everybody. the DJ Khaled the and the team, and the football basketball. players and the whole basketball yeah. teams. You I'm get all the ba- behind the scenes of the Lakers, behind the scenes of the Bulls, behind the scenes of the Spurs, and it's open. Like it's not because I follow them; yeah. it'll just pop up. So you get a lot of behind the scenes shit on Snapchat that yeah. you don't get on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Yeah. Just like okay, just like you know when we had this when we had this conversation, like. It's kind of like you get tunnel vision because I'm in it. It means it's bigger than what it is when I'm talking about the overall aspect. Just like when we was arguing about Facebook and Mm -hmm. I brought you the numbers. Like, the youth are not fucking with Facebook like that. It's more so Instagram, Snapchat, now do it TikTok. And then then Twitter will always be the, the, the master of information. That'll always be number one. Yeah. So... I talk about the bigger, but so much changed scene. since. Because my thing is, so much changed since um, Rihanna and Kylie did what they that was did. Just a, what year, two years and ago, so, maybe? And how fast was social media move? So much changed. Now you have Snapchat shows. There are legit shows. On you have Snapchat. legit shows on Snapchat, Snapchat that people follow with, with episodes. I've seen with it. episodes, yeah, it's a real the one, like the a little, whole show, the little football playing kid um, that got real big, Buggy or whatever his name is. Oh, yeah. you see the basketball kid. And his, the football his, the football yeah. player dude, he got his own show, yeah. and you got you got people with they with with shows. So, yeah. you know, Snapchat found a way to broaden. Yeah, they are just like they I, did take the nose yeah. off. Yeah, they just did, like they, you, you know, you because you showed me that you just use that to change my heart. No, I'm not changing my argument. argument. <laughs> I feel it, but I, I no, was I'm just saying, saying shit, shit when it comes to when it comes to like Facebook is more so I can put on this facade with Facts. my words. Facts. No, but I now think. I have to to keep up with the facade of my appearance. Now I have to alter some shit. You know what I mean? I got to make myself lighter. Uh-huh. I got to make sure my eyebrows are always perfected. Gotta make my I got to my, my know, this clear. type of shit. I got to make it look like I'm more make my teeth, Let me make my teeth whiter. So they got them that's too. where it's like now this shit is starting to hit you internally. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Now you're starting to alter your physical appearance and that's like you know, your way out. It's, yeah. it's crazy because we somebody we just talked about not long ago, you and I had a conversation about it. somebody that came up when we uh when we were at Aunt's birthday. Yeah. I've seen her and she to me she's cute as shit, but every every picture I've seen her, she recently requested me on Facebook and every picture I've seen of her, she has a filter on. It's I like, got a light skin frame, look like she but she's like she's cute though. But she's cute without the filter. Yeah. So I'm like, but every picture she posts has a filter on yeah. it. I'm just wondering, like, why? Like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Because you are cute. She be looking like old dude from uh, that play Mike. It's a feel like that. <laughs> what the fuck? But one thing about women, women though, to me all the time, bro, women, women always think like they look better though. But it's like the it's like the women dog, the, very the dog ears and shit with the nose. And I'm like, see, but see, but I can't because they got so many insecurities. Like, you but know, I can't. You can be the baddest bitch in the world, bro. So so okay. So let me oh. let me let me ask you. Cause we do we 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 go to the the woman a lot, right? How much responsibility do we have in that of how women look at themselves? A lot. Like first, you know, back in the day, if a girl had some ass, they was calling that fat. You know what I mean? Oh, she's fat. Then we like, oh, hold on, man. We like that, and we like that, and it ain't just we as men. We as men of color. The yeah. women have that. Nothing same is cool. 
Do they have the same power over us? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. A guy ain't doing too much that they ain't trying to impress. Complexion wise, maybe back in the day with the light skin, dark skin <laughs> thing, but I think that's kind of pushed itself out. I don't think they have no power over how we are. You don't think the. <clears throat> You don't think the, I think we have. Oh, more I love power. a dreadhead, and everybody going to get dreads. You don't think that was what that was? Nah, I know I was just I don't lazy. Know, man. I, I know, I we have everybody. more power in how <laughs> women look at themselves. <laughs> like we can yeah. alter the way I a woman look that. at herself. Absolutely, Absolutely. I agree with that. Yeah, but some niggas out there, man, that they like damn near trying to look like girls though. So how you could oh, even shit. say that? No, I'm saying it's niggas that's doing their eyebrows every day. It's niggas that's doing shit. Hey, I'm not even talking about homosexual. Hold on, that's real. I'm not even talking about homosexual. Not even homosexual. Not even homosexual. I'm talking about regular niggas. I know. It's niggas that take more pictures than they girl. Why do you think that they're doing that? It's niggas that take a lot of selfies. Yeah, more than they girl. They be on their way out, baby. It's a lot of baby taking my picture now. You know what I mean? Hey, look, man, I've done a lot of growing. Oh, yeah, we seen you. I don't think women I don't think women have that power over it because I think because there's a shortage of men, there's a woman that's gonna accept you just the way you are. I don't think there's a short of a shortage of men. I just think uh, the majority of black men are locked up. That 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 equals a shortage. A shortage uh, of a available. Different men. kind of locked up too. Mentally, uh physically, mm. and all you know. I just you know what I mean I, it always when you look at the when you look at the numbers of Men that are black men are incarcerated. You know, women, women be like, it ain't enough good. It ain't a lot, no good men out here. And then you know the reality of the situation. If you look at the numbers, the chances of your 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 good man, it may be in a penitentiary. When you look at the the real deal numbers, with his good man. Oh my god! <laughs> with his good man. <laughs> no, if, you, if you look at women out numbers two to one, so there's already gonna be a two to one disconnect. Then you take the men that's in in prison. That's what two point five men. It's a lot. Two point five million. Then you add the yeah. add the gay men. <laughs> what what are the leave us with? It's like a ten to one. It's like ten to one. Most of these dudes be on each other dick, even the ones that ain't gay. <sighs> so it's if like you down low, if you down low, you gay. I, I'm gonna count all y'all in one group. But then you no, you know, cause you got the dudes that's like, I see. I see Spence on, like, he got the car, he got the girl, he got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they just They got still ride. drive a Jeep with a broken Well, we window. know that. That's why I'm just using you as a Oh, as a, go to say shit. So, if, like, if you was that man, you got the you got the, the friends that's like, well, I'm going to stay close to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like, we're in our 30s. I know homeboys who've never had a car, but always been in the car with somebody. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Like, always been that... I'm going to stay around this nigga because this nigga God, is on his shit. Some niggas just don't never want to get on that shit. Like, I'm cool with whatever female going to let me sleep here tonight. Mm. I'm good with that. Like, I'm good with being in a relationship with whatever female take up with me as long as she take up with me. And once I cheat on her enough and she get tired of me, I already got somebody that's ready for me to move in to the next let me, house. Okay, let me ask you that when you get on there. How much of that, how much of that is, when you, when you say that, how much is, of it is... A nigga just truly not shit versus survival. Uh, I said about 60 40, man. What's the 40? The, I think the 40 would be the nigga ain't shit. Because a lot of niggas is out here asking for help. Like screaming, needing help from a woman. Like, yeah. believe me. Like, a lot of niggas can't live on their own. They can't live without a woman. It's meaning they mama, a woman, you know, they girl. Either or. You feel me? Might be an auntie, but some basically a female taking care Might of Might be their grandma. Might be grandma. Grandma that took care of a lot, of, mm-hmm. raised a lot of people. You know what I mean? But I don't think that it's. I, I don't think that it'd be all. I'm seventy. All seventy thirty. I think that a lot of people. It's a survival tactics. Like man, I'm just making this happen right now because this is happening right yeah. now. Just like you said, a lot of men in prison. A lot of men coming home with records and situations. Yeah. You know, so that's I'm seventy thirty. I'm seventy thirty. I'm seventy percent. Survival. Thirty percent is niggas. It's not shit. I'm 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 opposite. I'm thirty percent survival. I'm opposite. Niggas out here hurting, bro. They That's ain't sad. shit. That's I'm opposite too. Nah, I can't. Seventy percent. Because I don't. Shit. The reason I don't say that because like a lot of dudes say they ain't shit. A lot of people put up that facade. You're just like niggas struggling. Care. You surviving. But it's one more thing. If the right chick come up into ninety percent of men life, a woman that you really think that I'm up. Like, I got a woman that I cherish. 
Like, everybody got that woman in their head. They'd be like, damn, nigga, like, I wouldn't fuck that up. We see other people fuck up certain situations. Like, I wouldn't fuck up that situation. Yeah, so I don't think that it'd be so much of a nigga ain't shit. I just think that men, it take us a longer to find something that we oh, really absolutely. want. You absolutely. feel me? We be just dealing with people. It's that girl out there, man. I don't yeah. care how much of a player you say you is, man. All that it's shit that stops. one girl that walk in, man. What's up? What's going yeah. on? All that you shit not stops. gonna don't call me back. You calling your woman? Hey, don't call me back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you Remember back in, the, in high school, niggas used to uh, us. Used to, used to get a girlfriend. Used to sit like a um, damn near group text. You texting all of yeah. individuals. Man, don't be calling. I'm me sorry. I, I have a girlfriend. We decided yeah, for to. For real. Hey, you I, did that shit. Did that shit once. <laughs> I called cheating. Once I called cheating. Once I do that shit once. That's it. It's like that, man. That shit suck though. We be seeing. Like, we all dudes, man. We see. You be seeing shit on social media. Like it be a dude and his chick, and she really like his homie though. Like. Mm. They rock it. He can smack a girl. He can just live his life the way he want to live it, but knowing he not getting judged. Most people I realize is that most of my married friends, they're not even a person that they husband or wife think that they is. I'm telling you, like you go out with your married partners, like whenever you do get them to go out, nigga, they get out miserable. On my life, they be the drunkest <laughs> nigga in the club. The drunkest nigga Whoa. in the club. He's miserable, man. Whoa. And you know why they be so crazy? Because they trying to fit in the whole six months of partying. They want to live it up tonight. Yeah. Just tomorrow, yeah, yeah. They going back to reality. reality. That's why Bro, I said. That's why, I've, <laughs> that's why I've always said when we make when 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 I make this decision, it's gonna be because I yeah don't want do it, it yeah. for us. We want it niggas been for us. Into it. Niggas ain't finna drag me into no shit like that. Nah, hell no. Nah. But a lot of niggas, niggas be, we know. I done hung around with a few just married niggas. Miserable. And I ain't been around one yet that ain't been miserable. Miserable, man. Miserable, <laughs> man. For that real, for real. I ain't fucked her in three months. Fuck all that Facebook pictures. Nah, no, you for sure get that. I'm gonna I do all that shit. Niggas is miserable. Hey. I ain't got no married percent. niggas be like, I ain't fucked her in four, five months. You be like, you ain't, well, who you fucking in? <laughs> she'll be, be tripping, bro. Man, for real. I, I actually had somebody today text me. He he asked me to ask him on the show, but since we here, fuck it. He was like, hey, man, um, like, only when you get to the show, ask him this. Like, you know, if your girl get in the bed half naked and you just take it, is that rape? I'm like, yeah, nigga, that's, that's rape. Right. What do you mean? Just take it. Hold on. First, I see what that means. Whoa. Like, just like, she, like, he's like, cause she just be laying here and like, I be trying to, and she be like, no, nah, like, like, what she expect me to do? She say, no. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's that right. shit. Hey, yo, no means no, man. You seen this motherfucker where I tag you, see this motherfucker. You will have this problem. No means no. Man. <laughs> 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 hey, yo, you gotta get that that no word is serious, man. That no word is serious. I don't care how how many times you had sex with a woman. If she say no the hundredth time, man, you just know, man. Hey, <laughs> that was the wildest scene ever. <laughs> 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 Day. Yeah, man, but man, shout out to all, man, shout out to all the miserable married homies, man. <laughs> <laughs> the miserable married homies. Oh man, but yeah, man, um, For real. yeah, man, homie got a chick. <laughs> 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 what? Don't take it, Don't take it, bro. Don't take it, bro. She say no, nigga. Just roll over. I'm so nigga. scared of that nowhere. I remember one time, man, this chick. We do. We about to do whatever we do, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, whatever, we do. <laughs> whatever we do. You feel me? Back in my younger days, man. Back in my younger days. Yeah. So we in the zone or whatever, right? So I put it in a couple of times, and she like, nah, uh I promise you, my yeah. dick went soft right then. And she yeah. like, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, you know, go in yeah. slower. But now you didn't ruin this moment. Oh, it's you, over. The moment. The moment's I over. I can't yeah. get back up. My, like my my heart got to be yeah. fast. Today's age. Because somebody's everybody's so motherfucking up in arms and it's me too shit and all that. You tell me no in the inbox. That's it. Oh yeah. <laughs> tell me. That's it. Like I had that shit happen to me once on top of a bitch. Like as I'm about to put it in, she was like, no. I'm a, I'm a black man on top of a white woman in Oregon. I'm done. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh nigga, it's over. Oh, That's three hundred years. I heard just now. <laughs> my dick ain't nowhere near hard no more, bitch. Oh no, that's right. Oh, the even's over. You know, I was just saying, go slow. No, they are gonna say no. Yeah, man, but that's part of the culture that we we was born in, man. We was born in rape culture, bro. Facts. A lot of the shit that we was, that's why, I, like, our mindset. I'm so, like, headstrong on, like, breaking up our the thoughts of what we feel masculinity is, 
You know what I mean? I'm so headstrong on that because a lot of the shit we grew up thinking is just outright just fucked up and wrong. Uh, you know I mean? Like, even when it comes to the way we treat women, the way we've seen women Barbaric. get treated. Is, that, is, that, is, it, is, it, is that just more of the culture we're in? No, nah, I mean, no, nah, I think. At, because 20, 10 because years in ago, the age of information, it's all highlighted now. Right, but I'm saying the culture we're in now was different ten years ago. Ten years before that, the things that they thought in 2010, the things they thought about how we lived in the 90s, they would probably they probably thought the same thing. So like every as the culture progresses, you're looking at how we're we used to live, there. completely different. Yeah, that's true. For real. Like ass whoopings were. Uh, no, I see the nigga get his ass whooped in the classroom in front of the teacher. Yeah. Like yeah. now you go to jail for no, that. Like shit. ten years from now, like punishment is gonna be like if I'm the parent, punishment is gonna be like me. Like disliking your post. Uh, <laughs> for real. So th- th- that's th- gonna be the punishment. Like that's I'm, what I'm saying. I'm as, 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 as the culture, e- as the culture moves, action. our concept of what's right and wrong is constantly evolving. So like, is 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 how we look at things today necessarily wrong? And I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying is it wrong or is it because yeah. this is the time we living in? Well, I think I, uh, I, I, this is just in my opinion. Fifteen years from now. I think you'll see a a decline in both relationships and marriage. Fact. Because you'll have so many other options. You know what I mean? You got the, I mean, you got the robots now. You think niggas gonna start tapping robots? They already are. I ain't gonna lie. When I was locked up, I tapped the glove one time. They already are. (laughs) You got, the, you got the you got the sex robots. You got nigga basically at, at any at, at any time it's gonna you gonna have a a, a grub hub site with a prostitutes. A grub hub. Somebody I'm gonna I'm sorry enough for that. Somebody gonna come up with it. You know what I'm saying? Where a nigga just get on a call, quick call. You know nigga, that type of shit. You just put an idea out there. You know we in lockdown mode. I'm just, hey, look. You're put somebody in the car tomorrow. Oh, oh, hit me up tomorrow, man. That ain't nothing but escort. It's an escort, though. That ain't nothing new. It's an escort. Yeah, but I'm saying it's going to be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like on some grub hub type shit. I'm shocked niggas ain't out here, like, going to go get the groceries for elderly and shit right now. Blow with your mask on and suck my dick the window. You know what I mean? But drive through here. Yeah. I think, I think we're, we're, pull my dick out the window. You get out the sunroof. I think we, now we're getting to the, we're getting to the part. sloppy. How yeah. you want we're getting to, to that point where, you know what I'm saying, you're going to have so many options where you won't have to settle. Ain't nothing like, but the only thing it is, Mike. I think we're I like, point already. I, I, I believe it can happen because people are so insensitive about things now. You know what I mean? Like, sex is kind of like, it ain't, it ain't even personal sometime no more. It be like, uh-huh. kind of like a business deal. <laughs> like, yes, you know sex, you know shit, relationships, you know marriage, it's, 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 it's all, all business. business. Yeah. It's one hundred percent just a transaction out there. But I, and I've said this before, like I can get a bitch to give me some pussy before I can get her to make me a home cooked meal. That's crazy. I gotta really fuck with you to cook you a home. Well, shit, now nah, bitch, I don't even want your cooking. You can't cook. I, I don't. I, chicken. Everybody I makes chicken. Friend. That's all you can cook. Don't invite me over. But like, it, she has to really nachos. Like, <laughs> it's just all you can cook. And tacos, ground, ground beef tacos. <laughs> But she'll, she'll, and she'll, and I have one too. And fried like, chicken. I have to really Man. like you to cook for you. Like, if I'm fucking you, I'm getting something out the deal. So I, I don't give a fuck about sending you a noodle or, or giving you some pussy because I'm getting something out of it. I have to really fuck with you to cook for you. I'm like, damn. Shout out to all the women that made me pancakes on Facebook. I love Man. it. Man. Listen, that shit crazy to me. The women pirates nowadays, man. <laughs> that's, what, pirates. that's basically what I do. Like, bitch, I'm a pirate. <laughs> bitch can't cook, and do nothing. Can't cook, yeah. clean, and she a pirate. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> take, a, take a mean selfie. And yeah, just, take a good selfie. Say, all right, some baby. <laughs> all right, baby. For real, all bitch right, can't fool me, man. I know when a bitch is born on water, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a little minute, man. This one's supposed to be like thirty minutes, man. I'm gonna chop shit. It up. Ain't even no shit. We didn't put so much out there to the universe. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a rock. Man, yeah, right. but shit. Anything else? Y'all got anything else? Hey, man. Shit y'all asses at home. Damn, for real. That, that, that. The he virus. Said he said that we already broke the rule tonight, though. Hey, man, we ducking these felonies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, the fact is getting dark. You can't tell, tell me I ain't no real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we ducking felonies, nigga. <laughs> shit. It's zombies that's outside. It. We out here. Bad. Yeah, man, shout out to everybody with the man. corona, man. Shout out to everybody that's finna get the corona. Um, Stay positive. Do you wonder, like, why is it all the black people coming out with the corona now? 
I think it's more so, um, I don't know if it's more so black people. I would say that to get us to take it seriously, the media is only using celebrity names. Celebrity black people. Uh, probably. I mean, how many other? How many other? Names they look at the news too. Do we see any? They look other, at. The, I mean, they look at other times. They look at know. social media too. I mean, I know. I just I've seen the the Idris Elba. I seen hey, the, all the niggas Kevin Durant. Hang out with white people though. Yeah, but I, mean, I, I, I seen the Kevin Durant. I seen shit. The, yeah, they, the Utah look they around them. They, they like most. There was of another the team today. Two, that, two Lakers. It was two Lakers. Two Lakers and Marcus Smart from the Celtics. What? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They ain't actually saying it was Lakers though, so I'm like, damn. Yeah, I'm a big, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. When someone gets it in the projects, that's when I'll start worrying. I just had this conversation. Niggas probably got. I it. just had this conversation. Probably probably got it, but we can't get. I just had. I this told these niggas. I, man, look, I told y'all on we the can't show, get man. Like that. The homies been having gonorrhea for five years. The and corona not busting through that, homie. If a nigga in the Jeez. project's got it, they'll never find out because the nigga don't want to take them tests. I fuck around and get tested for corona and find out. I got high blood pressure. Yeah. I got diabetes. Yeah. I got yeah. Yeah. And you find yeah. out on 15, yeah. like, yeah. God damn. Yeah. Uh, the nigga nigga take that test. You not busting through this hypertension? Nigga <laughs> <laughs> probably got kids and some old shit. Corona be, <laughs> corona be the least serious shit. Corona get to the system, nigga. The committee be like, hold on, my nigga. It's my turn. <laughs> Yeah, you got corona, but, uh, but let's talk about some of this other But because, shit. like, because we're all, you know what I mean? When you look at like everybody in the hood and shit, we're all connected in some way. I when it hits someone in in that in the projects, mm -hmm. that's when I'll start worrying. Other than that, it seems like it's just it's knocking the niggas fact out. that it ain't hit the projects is weird. That's usually where they drop it off at. Especially I told you, man, special delivery. <laughs> niggas ain't putting it in the hood and they ain't got there yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like there. it's there. Niggas just don't know it yet. Niggas don't know they got it. Niggas don't know they got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Well, they kind of y'all me out, man. <laughs> that, that dry <laughs> cough you got, that's Corona. That's not just weed, my nigga. That's that's the Corona. But niggas can't tell the difference. <coughs> 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 this motherfucker good killer. No, nigga, that's something else that's killing your ass. <laughs> y'all <Yo, I'm good. laughs> That cocaine be like, hold on, nigga. It's my turn. <laughs> Wait. I'm cooking right now. Can I cush, dog? Can I roll the nigga? Can I roll the case of all the hood? Do? Yeah, hell no, nigga. <laughs> Shit too real in the hood. Bro, you can't survive the fucking hood. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about a roller, nigga. I got to dodge bullets in the real, nigga. <laughs> fuck about a roller, nigga. <laughs> As y'all see, we finna get on some regular nigga yeah. conversations. So, y'all yeah. know what it is, man. This is Improvise. Subscribe to the network. The U7 yep. network. Get at us. Till next time. Peace. Alright y'all, you stuck around this long, you must like what you see. So if you're new, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Make sure you press that bell. Make sure you click all so you can get all the notifications to this next show.